Hey YouTube, welcome back. As you guys can see, the truck looks a bit cleaner than what it did the other day. Um, the front end is still all torn apart, not put back together yet. But, good news, my shipment came in today. As you guys can see here, I got quite a few parts in. Yep. Got the fuel line, I got two feet of fuel line there. Um, so I can replace the intake. I got um, the receiver box there. Um, this here, the 5157, is um, the cover plates and seals for the receiver box. And then I got our, my RPM shock tower. I got the easy start, um, what's it called? Connector or quick, uh, quick connector. Uh, I got all, all the, all the wires. I'm, I'm just going to replace it. Um, I was coming with some zip ties and stuff too, to kind of make it look, look neat. And then here is the 3762A, which is the, um, set of two shocks. Like I said, it comes with everything that you need to build build two of them. Like I said, I could have bought um, uh, you know the parts that were missing or need to be re replaced, but I didn't want to worry about anything missing, so I just figured I'd just buy buy a two set. And then I got a couple glow plugs here. They're all the 3232X. And then I got some spur gears, 3958s. Uh, they're just the stock, I think, what, 58 tooth, I believe. Uh, 58 tooth, yep. Yeah. I got a couple of those so I can have some spares. I also got a extra um, brake, brake pad set. Uh, the ones that I got in there now are fairly new, but um, I just, I don't know what caused my last pair to fail. I'm thinking it, it was due to the the wet conditions, so I just went ahead and purchased a, another set of them this way. If it does happen, I have them ready to go. All I gotta do is just replace them. And then, last but not least, I got the um, front stock skid plate. Because uh, like I said, the way that RPM has their set up, they don't fully replace the you know like the entire piece here um they more or less just, just reinforce it around this area here which is fine um but it still looks looks goofy you know the the front end still looks kind of funny um especially with that broken broken piece in there so went ahead and just purchased another one of these um an update on the rpm issue uh i didn't call rpm i actually called the hobby shop that i purchased that i purchased my rpm rpm skid plates at let me get the part number out for you here this is the 80.11.2 um, is the RPM stock number. Um, I didn't call RPM because I wanted to see what the hobby shop would, you know, would tell me or what they would do for me, uh, you know, if anything about this. Because I was, I was unaware that they had different, um, you know, my, I, I, you know, different uh, part numbers for different uh, I guess versions or series of the trucks like I had mentioned on here that this says here that the center skid plate not compatible with the Emac 16.8 um, I thought that just affected the Emacs but come to find out I did some research on RPM's website and they actually um, stated that this uh, number here actually does not fit the Traxxas T-Max 3.3, the new, the new versions. Um, the ones with the 
word max on the chassis, it, 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 it's a different part number, which has obviously the longer, the longer center skid. So with that being said, after I found that, that little bit of information out, I did call the hobby shop instead of calling RPM and the hobby shop wasn't aware of that either. So I had asked him, and I, I forgot what the part number was that RPM, you know, uh, or what the part number for RPM is for this version of the 3.3. I'm assuming that this is the, you know, second gen or whatever um, of the 3.3. And like I said, the hobby shop obviously wasn't aware of it. So after speaking with them, they they will accept a exchange the only thing is you know is the packaging has to be in um resellable order which for the most part it is i'm just concerned about the like the the two screw packages because they're so small i i just cut them with the exacto knife but i don't know how much meat i left on the package i don't, I don't think i think i left much so I'm not sure how that's going to go down, um, but either way, that's that's the RPM issue. That's you know the update on that. Uh, he said he would order the um, the other serial number from RPM, the one that the one that would fit. I did give him that number, the part number. I like I said, I forgot what it was, but I did, I gave it to him. He said he would order it for me. So hopefully, um, you know he'll have that soon, and I can go and uh, pick that up and get get it replaced. But that's not a huge issue. I mean, it doesn't keep the, the truck from not running. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff replaced on the truck, get it fixed. And when it is, you guys will see it. So as usual guys, comment, like, subscribe, more videos to come. The oil is going to be breaking here soon, so you should see a lot more videos of uh, AJ and I and who knows who else outside bashing around. Thanks.